Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to Q3 of the weekly contest 461 minimum time to activate string. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, drum on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. I think this one is just a lot of trying to understand the problem for me. Um, I actually did this, I think I just got submitted in seven minutes. So I did took about six or seven minutes on this problem. Uh, and I am going to draw out the board. Um, the, the key thing for, the, for me is that. Um, and this is my thought. I'm going to go over my thought process before going over the solution um, because I think it's just maybe more interesting. If you just want a solution, there are a lot of explanations on the webs or YouTubes or whatever. I don't know. Right. But so my thought process was that, okay, look at n. n was 10 to the fifth. Um, that's too big for n squared, right? Um, I knew that it was binary search way early on because it's just the nature of these things in the sense that, okay, well, you have an order, you want to figure out the first thing that happens after like some subset of them or some prefix of them happen. That's a very natural binary search thing. So I, if you watch the live part, I say like it's binary search very quickly, to be frank. Yeah, uh, but but if I binary search, then how do I get to count the number of branded substrings? And I go, well, and like I said, I said n is big, so you can't do n squared, like count every substring, right? Because that's just n squared log n, which is going to be too big. So I said, uh, okay, well, then now I knew what my goal was, which is to find a linear algorithm to figure out how to count valid substrings given a prefix of order, or meaning a number of things of stars. Um, and it turns out, I, I, I don't know, this, this problem is very weird. Substring is where it contains one star, and then, uh, yeah, that's it. So I, I, it's like I said, it's a very weird problem, but the way that I thought about it is with sweep line, right? And uh, for that, I will bring up my drawing pad uh, real quick. People always tell me to do it more, so I'm doing it more, but it still takes time to load. <laughs> All right, so the idea here is that, okay, uh, let's say we have some, I don't know, long string. It doesn't really matter what apparently. So I'm just going to write a lot of ABC. I guess I could use different letters. Anyway, right? And then now you have some some of them that become star afterwards, and, right? And then the idea is that, okay, um, you know, you worry about double counting, etc. And this is where I talk a lot uh, on sweep line with respect to what I call contribution, right? And there are a couple of ways you can write, write or think about this, but the way that I think about this for this particular problem of contribution is that given this string, including some stars, right, to replace, right? Uh, given every character or index, if you will, uh, what is its contribution to the answer, right? Um, and w what is its contribution if it is the last character in the substring? Or substring? Meaning that if this is the last character, how many valid substring are there that are the prefix of this? For this problem, right? And in here, um, it's just you just need one star. And the reason why you, you have to be careful with like sliding window and stuff like this uh, in a way that you don't do away with contribution is because you don't worry about. Or I don't. If you do it correctly, you don't worry about double counting and stuff like that because you have two stars. What do you do, right? Uh, this will t show you the way very quickly. And the idea here is that okay, well, uh, we'll we'll start from the left, right? For, for this example, we have three stars. Say, um, well, a, how many wide strings ends of a? The answer is zero, right? Because there's no stars. What about B? Still zero, no stars. Okay, star. Then what is the answer? Well, the answer is actually three, right? Because uh, you could see, say that uh, this is a right substring, uh, B star is a right substring, and A, B star is a right substring, right? Right? And then what about the next one? And the next one is four, for a similar reason. You have uh, this, this one as a right substring, you have this one as a right substring, this one, and then this one, right? So four of these, right? Pretty straightforward. What about B? Well, B is actually also four, right? Because nothing before, because uh, if you have B, nothing before you hit the star matters, right? Because there's no, you have no star before you hit the star. So then if you get to the star, then now you have, this is a rad substring, 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 so four different things. You could maybe see an idea coming up, right? Which is that now it matters only your last star because then the prefix of that is free. Like it's just the number of things before that almost, right? So that's kind of the idea that I had. 
Um, I did do it for C, and you can see that this is also for the same way because you know you have this, so then you have just like this, 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 right? But with, with B C suffix, right? And then now again, this is a star. So then star. Now we we can do a lot more, right? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, okay, whatever. Close enough, right? And then the rest is also going to be seven for that result, right? And then now this means that. And then just sum it up to get the number of valid substrings, right? So you have three plus four plus you know, whatever you get. You know what sum means, and that's basically the idea given um, uh, uh, given one say a prefix of uh, what they call it. I, I forget what they. I don't know what they call it, but a prefix of like applying the order, if you will, uh, and that's basically the idea. And the rest is like I said, binary search. So we binary search on um, the prefix that we want to use right this is very standard binary search this is not a binary search video so i'm not gonna go over that in detail but uh but yeah i i always use inclusive bounds um probably like 99 percent of 100 and then if this is good then that means that we want to try a s smaller prefix if it's not good we try a bigger suffix uh, or well bigger prefix actually but yeah um if 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 we need more than L, that means that we've done every order. Um, that means the entire um, string is exhausted. Though I guess you could probably do another. You could probably just count like n choose two or something like that, right? Because n choose two is greater than or less than k for negative one. So maybe that would be faster anyway. I don't know. By the way, I just did it as part of the binary search. If uh, L is not enough, then nothing is ever going to be enough because you don't have enough characters. So it's negative one. Otherwise, you just this is the answer. Right. And this is the quote unquote the good function, the, the check the number of things. Um, you can actually optimize this a little bit by terminating early. It's a for this one it's, it's not so bad because I mm, but yeah. Uh, but the idea here is just yeah, find the last star that you see, right? So uh, yeah, so for the prefix, I, I take all the prefix, I put in a set. Um, and then as I go, as I look through the thing, if I is in star, then this is the, the last, I don't know why I will pass, but pass is the last star that we saw uh, at this index. And then you just kind of count the number of prefixes that you can from that. And that's it, right? At the end, you just sum, you sum it all up, return K, you're happy, you're Gucci, you're ready to go home. And that's it. Uh, yeah. What's the complexity here? Well, this is O of log L, right? The L things. Um, this is L times N, right? This is L, this is N. So this is L, oh, did I say L times N? Sorry, L plus N, uh, right? This is L, this is N, and times log um, log L, right? So yeah, N plus L log L, something like that. So, th and that's it. That's why I have with this one. Relatively short code. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And you can watch me solve it live during the contest now. Face palm. Oh, um, all right. That's pretty bad. That was like a, yeah, like a really quick problem, but then I just kind of, what, did I submit it? Oh, whatever. We'll just go back to it. <sighs> One of those days, I suppose. Even when you, you're right, you get the sign wrong because you didn't think. All right. We don't have time to activate string. Do, 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 do. Order, integer order. Order is a permutation of one to n or zero to n or whatever, n minus one. We place the character at index order sub t. And S with the, da, 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 okay. Uh, at least one star. A string is active if the total number is greater than or equal to K. Okay. Minimum time in which it becomes active. Okay, so it sounds like it's binary search, but I don't even know what it's saying. Okay. What? Substring is valid if it contains at least one star. What does that even mean? Valid substring is greater than or equal to K. So two valid substrings. I don't know what the star means. Okay, so order sub one, so T, order of zero, T is one, 
modified, okay. Routed substrings, oh. So you do an n square thing. Okay, so you can't do binary search n square, but you could count the number of routed strings by a, um, maybe a linear way um, by just. What is a non routed string? <clears throat> okay, so if, if we're able to do it in linear, then the binary search we're done. But okay, so we have to just do the count. We convert this to star BC. What does that mean? Oh, I ape star C rather. Okay. Oh, it has to contain one star. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Then you go, you, I mean, it's probably like a sweep. Uh, okay, you see a star, and then you go, okay, well, it goes to do, 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 And then C, how many things end with C? Well, yeah, you do at least one star, so then it's just, okay, yeah, no, okay, fine. Uh, uh, oh. L? I don't know. I guess they're the same, right? Maybe? I don't remember. I remember something like that. Maybe not. Oh no, they are the same. Okay. Um, if this is good, we want to try earlier. Yeah, if this is good, we want to try earlier. Right. <clears throat> yeah. All right, we're done, right? <laughs> um, all right, that's good. Target, and then target is just pre-order. Right? Um, and then it's just... Yeah. Um, whatever, stars is equal to... Set of order to target. Is that inclusive? I always forget that is inclusive. I don't think so. So that's fine, yeah. Okay, and now hmm. um, Okay, so then now we want to say um, the last thought that we saw and then all the characters before that, right? Yeah, okay. So then now, if i is in stars, then um, pass is you go to i, maybe? And then count, we want to add by pass plus one. And I think that's it. We could pass it up. Zero, three, two. All right, that's just not right. Also, we have to do negative one. Hmm. How do I get two? Uh, I think two is just the biggest number. So we can do something like this. And if, uh, and that's fine. Uh, still wrong on part two though. Why? Hmm. Let's see. Maybe I'm off by one. Two is five, three is six. Two is five. Am I off by one? Because zero we, we do is, means there's zero elements. So two means that we have three elements. I think I'm just off by one, but, but then the first one though. The first one would be, why would this be zero then? Hmm. Oh, it's zero because we just do one. And one is five? No, one is not five, so that's not right anyway. Zero is three. 
that doesn't sound right either. Oh, because this is pass plus one. But pass could be, it should be a negative one actually. Okay, so one, three, okay, so then now we one left minus one. But then I think I'm off by one in somewhere. I think this is roughly right, but it's not quite right. I think I just need to change this to target plus, plus one. Zero to negative one. Okay, I think that's more precise. Remove my print statement. Okay. Okay, so this is now the... Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem, this contest, the explanation, everything in between. Stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.